Hey, everyone, this is a very exciting look at you moment with Mr. Sam Naples. Watch what he's up to. Yeah. Yeah. Again, and roll out of it, right? And yeah, if you can come right up, that's what you want to do is be able to come right up from there. Okay. Yeah, make sure you want to go this way so you get all the body coming around. No, other way, right? Seven. That's right. That's Sam Naples. He's a self-defense instructor, and he is one of the best around. He's got quite the story, though, because he had some moments that weren't so good, and he joins us me right now. And boy, Sam, it's so good to have you with us. Thank you for being here, Catherine. And your story is so inspiring. We see you at work here. That's your passion. Yes. And yes. it is My Taekwondo. Right. Taekwondo. Right. But I just say self-defense. Okay, or right. that. Yeah. Yes. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. And it's been part of your life since since it, you were. It'll be fifty years next year. 50 years. Yeah, May That's 25th wonderful. next year will be 50 years. But there was a time not very long ago when he was not even recognizable. He uh, had a heart attack. He lost his business. His, you had two studios going. I had to sell them because I couldn't operate them. Yeah. He couldn't operate them. And it, things just started to fall down. And uh, boy, it was a really, really rough time then. Right. You know, I, I, like I got into real estate because I thought you just buy houses and people send you money. And uh, of course, then they had the big real estate crash and it happened in 08 with the banking crisis. So, I mean, you know, I was kind of on the cutting edge of that. But I, you know, I went bankrupt in 06 and then in 07 I had a heart attack. And uh, then, you know, so I lost my house. So, so I moved in with my father. I was his caretaker. He was in his 90s and, uh, and but, you pretty know, much let your dream of being a self-defense instructor it was kind of done yeah. set aside and boy rough times right rough times yeah. um, but now oh my gosh look at what he's doing look at the people who uh, want to say a lot about his instruction but if somebody kicks your leg up both feet come up and that's why both his feet end up where you go right. four good five uh, there you go. Yes. Ah. Ah. Good job. Uh, yeah, that's right. uh, Master uh, Naples is so amazing because he makes sure that everything you do is done to perfection and he won't let you get away with anything. No matter, at first it was very intimidating, like, oh my gosh, I'm going to get hurt, I'm going to get hit. And now it's like, no, there isn't. It's just, it's just your mind is now into it. He teaches you how to do it properly. And you Absorber. So, right, that's it. Step in when you do it. So now you're just back on your way up. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. It's awesome to see you working with your students, and it's awesome mm -hmm. to see you feeling like yourself again. Right. And, and I've got a passion for learning again. It's like I'm going to seminars, and I'm reading all the time, and I spend hours online learning new things. And like some of the stuff we were practicing today, I learned two weeks ago. Good. And so, right, I'm just going to roll over. Just like we did for your test, we're just going to do All right, that. Right Checking sight. Keep you closer. There you go. Good job. Yeah, so the comeback story is amazing, and it just keeps getting better and better right. here with Sam Naples. In fact, it got this good. He was uh, nominated or actually voted into the Hall of Fame. Yes. The Taekwondo Hall of Fame. Right, right. This past September 22nd in New York. But this is an international thing. It's, it's not just America. I mean, the last one was two years ago in Zagreb, Croatia. And the next one is in Bangkok, Thailand, which I hope I can go there and just hang out. So but, global recognition yes. for, for how incredibly right. skilled this you are. This is the whole world. This is not, yeah, just a, a local thing. And the instruction that, that you can offer yes, people. Yes, I'm so humbled to be in the... You know, with that kind of company. So now wrapping things up here all together, your thoughts on what you'd like to, to tell people as far as what you've learned to be your own comeback story. Right. Well, I, I think that, you know, when I gave up the school and then, you know, I went bankrupt and, you know, one thing after another, it's, it's like what I really had to do, it, you know, at my black, blackest spot was look inside and realize that what I do is not who I am. And then, you know, once I realized who I was and then I had the surgeries, it was like I had a goal again. And once you have a strong enough goal, once you have a why, the how is easy. easy. Tony Robbins said that, and, right. and it's, it's so true. And uh, the other thing you have to do is you have to be adaptable. Mm -hmm. and, and like Grandmaster Chun always used to say, you have to have a plan. Your plan's not going to work. But you have to start with a direction and then keep adapting as things, you know, life throws your curveballs. Yeah, you so, might have to do little diagonals every once in a while. Right. And that's what you've done for sure. Right. And, and now we're kind of doing a 
a nice diagonal upward. Right, right. Yes. I, I think the more convinced you are of where you want to go, though, the straighter the line is. Okay, well, quite a story and quite a lesson for all of us to, to take in. You know, we're going to have dark days, right. and that does not mean that you can't get back up on your horse and right. move on even bigger and better than you were before. So thank you so much, and thank look you, at Catherine. you, Sam Naples. Keep it up. People are depending on you. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thanks for clicking in.